Hey guys, Katherine King here and I have a fun video. It is my second and spruce haul. I got two boxes um, because I ordered both her carnival sampler and her raspberry sampler. The raspberry sampler was in its own box. Um, so I have two boxes to go through. I'm gonna do the raspberry sampler first and my basic order is in with carnival. So I'm gonna try and dig that out so we know um, what was my basic order versus my carnival order. So um, in my boxes, I got, you know, all my stuff. I got my yummy caramel apple suckers. And then I got a sweet note on um, my, uh, my invoice. She always writes um, nice little notes on the invoices. I always just think that is just the sweetest touch. <laughs> like this one says happy melting. It's just a nice, very personal touch that I enjoy. Um, she puts in her melting instructions. Thanks for the order. These are recently poured, that kind of thing. So let's get started. You're going to start um, probably seeing a lot of us YouTubers who love Second and Spruce posting our videos because our orders are arriving. Um, we have been looking forward to this. Um, something fierce when she told us she was doing a raspberry sampler because um, if you know, you know, she has the best raspberry. Um, and she does amazing things with it. I'm just going to put it down here on my lap. Here, I'll show you the picture. Oop. So that's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and go through this. The first one, raspberry, oh, raspberry jam sampler. Raspberry lemon cream cake. Oh, that sounds like heaven. Um, my eyes are getting tired, so when they get tired at night, it's frustrating. Okay, raspberry jam drizzle, lemon pound cake, and vanilla cream. Oh, to me, this is, oh, when you first get that sniff, you get that lemon. Oh, this gives me nasty stuff on my, you get to see by ring light. Anyway, um, the first hit you get is lemon, but as you pull it away, you, you get that raspberry. Mm, oh my gosh, that is good. Poured seven, eight. Oh, I really don't want to wait. I might have to take some of these to work. Um, next one, raspberry cream cookie, raspberry jam, sugar cookie bomb, and vanilla cream. Oh, it is so, so good. Her raspberry, if you are a raspberry lover, you need to get second in spruce. I, I mean, I can't honestly say it enough. Oh, this is like, um, Linz, Linzer cookie. I think that's what they're called. A raspberry Linzer cookie, the one with the sandwich. That's what this reminds me of is a raspberry Linzer cookie. Next one, PB and J cake, raspberry jam, peanut butter and yellow cake. I love the size. This is the perfect size for my warmer. Um, especially at work. I have the coffee ones at work. Tim doesn't like coffee. So I have the coffee ones at work. Mm. And her coffee with raspberry jam. This is raspberry jam and peanut butter. I honestly don't know that I get the cake note because the raspberry and the peanut butter is so prominent, but I'm here for it. Here for it. Okay, next, royal raspberries, raspberry jam, sugar cookie royale, and vanilla cream and like a little pie. Yep, it's just another beautiful creamy raspberry. I think adding that vanilla cream is just really giving it a creaminess. <sighs> I am like in raspberry jam heaven right now. So I had, I ordered two samplers and I had one of the samplers shipped to me for Susan. Um, I cannot wait for the weather to get better in Arizona so I can ship Susan's box to her. We're, we have it shipped here because my weather's better, 
there is just too bloody hot and um erica's wax is so soft i mean it cut you could cuts like butter you can break it apart it's beautiful beautiful wax but susan i cannot wait for you to get your box so you need to let me know when your weather is good enough for me to ship it anyway this one raspberry fudge and zucchini bread raspberry jam vanilla budge vanilla butter fudge and zucchini bread and you know i love my zucchini bread oh okay that's that's actually odd i swear i got a hint of cherry in this huh <laughs> that's different i mean it's really good i don't smell the zucchini bread but i swear i i smell a hint of cherry and I found that there are certain cherries that I like. And, and this one, that's interesting, though, that I was kind of getting a cherry hit. Unless it's almond. All right, next. Raspberry jam donuts. Cute little donuts. Raspberry jam and fresh baked donuts. Okay, this one, the donut, fresh baked donut oil is the more prominent in this one, but it's delightful. It is, um, and it's nice though that on that one that the raspberry took a little bit of a back seat to it so that you just kind of get this feel of the raspberry afterward. Oh, my nose itches. All right, raspberry kitchen invasion. Raspberry jam, bread, sugar cookies, cake, donuts. And I love these. For me, it's easy for me to cut these up. I like them better than the souffles, and it is a personal thing, but for me, cutting these is so much easier, and you really don't need a lot of, of her wax. I cut these into 10, so. Oh, raspberry prominent, love it, love it, love it. Oh, so good, guys. So good. Okay, and the last big one till we get to these cute little ones. Uh, look at this. Isn't that just adorable? This one is raspberry pistachio macaron. I'm not a huge pistachio person, so we'll see. It's raspberry dram, jam drizzle pistachio macaron cookie. This is seriously the cutest bag ever. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Okay, so <clears throat> I can smell the pistachio in there and I'm not mad about it. That's, that's good. I know I'm saying everything's good, but when you know, you know when it comes to raspberry. If you are a raspberry person, then, and you like a certain kind, I like the fresh real raspberry versus the perfumey raspberry. Hers is top notch. I'm, I'm not even kidding. All right, so now we've got some scent sh shots. We've got three of these. Um, raspberry cocoa key lime pie. So it's key lime pie and coconut cream pie layered with raspberry jam. Oh, you can smell the key lime. Oh, guys, that's so good. Oh man, I, uh, Erica, we need a bigger one of this for sure. Definitely pour this in like a loaf, you know, your mini loaves. Definitely, definitely. That one, yes. Berry ginger ale. So raspberries, blackberries, and ginger ale. It's a, it's a delicate ginger ale. You know how sometimes ginger ale can slap you in the face? This one doesn't. This one allows those berries to come out. Oh, this one, I cannot wait to wear that one either. Okay, next one, raspberry jam. Oh, just her fresh raspberry jam. And I have this and it's, it's heaven. It's seriously, it's heaven. And this must be a sample that I got in the sampler in this cute little bag. Let's see. Honey pear cider donuts. Oh, honey pear cider. I even went into my stash and pulled out honey pear cider from Destination Wax to compare to Scentsy's. So, oh, 
I, I, I need loaves of this one. Oh my gosh. This is seriously the best cider I think I've ever smelled. Now I do have honey pear cider because I got, you know, the samples from, or the things from Scentsy, but Erica, I need this one too. Oh my word. Honey pear cider, apple spice donut. Yes, 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 yes. All right. That was an amazing sampler. Oh, Susan, I cannot wait for you to get this. Her box is sitting right down there. And I took all the squiggles out of, out of the boxes. But uh, yep, her box is sitting down there waiting for it to get less than 115 degrees in Arizona. Okay, let's get into this one. I don't remember what I ordered. So let me open this up. Because I only ordered a few snap bars. Because she, um, I, this is how the wax community is. It's so amazing. I messaged Dessa Bonner to ask her where she got her snap bar molds. Because Eric and I weren't finding the right ones. And, and I told her that that's my favorite way is, you know, brittle snap bars, those kinds of things, right? And Dessa sent me the link to where she gets her snap bar molds. I mean, seriously, that is, it's such an amazing community. I love it. So now Erica is offering snap bars and you know I'm here for it. So she has them all wrapped up in bubble wrap. So the first one I had to get two of. So I don't know if it was my last order or the order before she sent me a sample of her peach and it was so good. It wasn't skunky or no, that's coffee. It wasn't uh, pee. It wasn't cat pee. It wasn't anything. It was beautiful, beautiful peach. So um, I had to get two of her snap bars in her peach ice cream. So it's fresh peaches, birthday cake, and vanilla ice cream. Oh, it seriously, it smells like you just cut open a peach. So tomorrow I'm hoping I'll, well, I'll probably get this up on August 4th. So August 4th is my birthday, I'm 48. And so on Saturday, Tim and I are going out to Hood River. Um, there's a lot of different, um, vineyards and orchards and all those kinds of things out in Hood River. So uh, I have no doubt we're going to stop and pick up some peaches. Packard um, Orchard is one of the ones that I hope we uh, end up stopping at and they have pies and all sorts of things. But this is absolutely divine. It to me, it, it smells like a fresh peach and then you put your, like your vanilla ice cream on and you mix it and you get it all creamy. Yes, Erica, you have the perfect peach. Don't change your peach. Okay, in my next little bundle here, and then we'll get into the carnival sample, sampler. Because I wanted, I really wanted to save, since I have a lot of her wax already, I wanted to save quite a bit for other people. So I just picked up small quantities of what I wanted to try and I only got in brittles. I didn't get anything bigger. Um, so anyway, this one is Midnight Campfire outside my comfort zone, you know that. Creamy caramelized marshmallow sugar cookies, hint of snow or smoky campfire. So. I'm a little hesitant because it's a smoky scent, but oh, that's actually really good. It's like a, it, it does smell to me like an artificial smoke, but that you get that creamy toasted marshmallow in there. That is so, so good. I'll probably need more of that one too. The next one, brown bag lunch. I missed this in the last one. It jumped out of my cart, so I got one this time. Um, it's raspberry jam, peanut butter, and fresh baked bread. Mm, okay, so this is more peanut butter bread. Yeah, I didn't even think about the fact that I have my fans on. 
That's probably making tons of noise. I'm sorry. Oh, that is so, so good. It is. It's peanut butter bread with raspberry jam. Sorry about the fans. I didn't even think about it. It's hot in here and I don't like my wax getting too hot. Anyway, and then the last individual one I ordered is Almost Famous, which is raspberry jam, toasted mallow, and zucchini bread. And I've heard amazing things about this. Mm, yes, 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 yes. So good. It is raspberry jam forward. So you know that I'm here for it. Okay. Let's get into the sampler. I have seen um, Brittany Nicole, I think that's her name, um, do her carnival sampler. So I have seen this, Ash, or I know April Lee just recorded hers and I think Ashley recorded hers. But let's go ahead and get into this. So my little sample here is lemon cream cake, which is lemon cookies, lemon pound cake, cheesecake, and mallow cream. It's, it's just creamy lemon goodness. Oh, heaven, guys, it's heaven. I know I close my eyes a, a lot, sorry. It's just, it's like it just takes you to this place, you know, and you're smelling it and you're, oh, it's so good. Okay, oh, I got it, two of those. Um, my little cute bag, let's see what's in my bag got the TV lab. We were watching Survivor. We watch all the old Survivors. Um, okay, this, oh, okay, this one's called Yeti, and it's evergreen, hints of citrus, peppermint, and mossy greens. Let's see if this is green or pepperminty. Oh, okay, so this is pepperminty and definitely the mossy greens. This is this is an amazing Christmas scent. It is. It's like you get your, cause you know, well, I don't really have any Christmas trees behind me anymore. They cleared the fields, but that's what it reminds me of is Christmas trees. So this mossy greens, I guess you could kind of get the feel of a colder weather walking in, you know, a forest or something eating a candy cane. I don't know. This is heaven. Um, so Erica, you need to pour Yeti around the holidays. I know you're thinking about doing a pre-order. Please include Yeti in your pre-order because I will be getting some. We all know that um, tree scents and stuff really give me a headache, but that would be a beautiful pass-through scent. I could have it in here. I could still experience it. Yes. All right, let's get going. Carnival sampler, popcorn ball, kettle corn, mallow fluff. Okay, this is definitely kettle corn. Yep, it smells just like kettle corn as though you'd gone to a fall festival, farmer's market, that kind of thing and had kettle corn. She's got a cute little pan on there. It's exactly what that smells like. Okay, next one. Uh, boardwalk Beach Party. This is beach party, beach nights, treats type. So her beach party and then boardwalk treats. This one's okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these scents, but I mean, it, it's nice. I'm just not a big fan of, of those particular scents in general. Um, next one is Blue Raspberry Snow Cone Saltwater Taffy. This one's a touch light. I can smell it better once I pop it out, but saltwater taffy for sure. Blue raspberry snow cone. Yeah, I can definitely get that blue raspberry. Um, it's almost like you're smelling the root blue raspberry right out of like the syrup bottle. And there's you're at one of those booths, you know, at a carnival, obviously, or at a county fair or, or whatever. And they're doing snow cones and cotton candy. That's kind of the feel I get with this one. Very nice. 
Okay, so those were those sizes. All right, the bigger sizes. Fried dough. Fried dough, bake, flaky crust, cinnamon, and brown sugar. And this, seriously, doesn't that look like something you'd want to eat? <gasps> and it smells like something you want to eat. Seriously, this smells like fried dough. Like maybe fried Indian dough. I don't know if you guys have that around here. We have a few reservations around here. Um, and it's, I think it's called, oh, Indian fried dough. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Something like that. So good. Almost maybe like... You know, that, that kind where they just drizzle the dough on, or the, yeah, the dough on the fryer and it's all squiggly and then they top it with the cinnamon sugar. Oh my gosh. It's going to make me hungry. Put my glasses away. All right, next one. Um, clownin' coffee. Espresso, caramel apples, hint of cotton candy, and funnel cake. Oh, okay, so this is coffee forward. This one's coming with me to work. Oh, it's so good. To me, it basically, it's just a nice espresso scent. I am sure that the other scents will come out on warm, but right there, I'm just smelling this beautiful espresso scent. Divine. Oops, I'm like making a mess here. Next one, cookie concessions. So it's sugar cookies, buttercream frosting with hints of caramel, apple, pretzel, and cotton candy. I'm saving the really fun one for last. Yep, caramel apple. Definitely a caramel apple. That's what I'm smelling. Yep, um, so sugar cookie, buttercream frosting, hints of caramel apple, pretzel, cotton candy. Nope, to me, it is just straight up beautiful caramel apple. Oh, so good. So good. Okay, next one. This is so cute. It has little puppy feet in it. Um, animal cracker crossing. Pink frosted animal crackers, cake pops, cake batter ice cream. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So pink frosted animal cookies. Yeah, you do. It's a little different, but that is kind of the gist. So if you get those, the frosted animal cookies, which I happen to really love, that's, that's what this smells like to me. Oh my gosh. This whole sampler is just going to make me hungry. All right. Next one, pink lemonade, pink cotton candy, and blue cotton candy. I love this swirl effect. Mm, yep, 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 yep. Pink lemonade and cotton candy. That's exactly what this smells like. Um, I would say it's probably more pink lemonade forward, but... Oh, divine. Absolutely divine. I am so glad I got both. I was a little worried about the carnival sampler because she didn't say what she was putting in it. So I was a little worried what if it's going to have too much of the... Car what you see normally in the carnival stuff and it isn't the her thing is just awesome and then her last really fun one is this one and it's called pick your toppings and create your own funnel cake scent and I saw Brittany open this and it looks so fun so I'm going to dump this out okay so here's your funnel cake right here and you got it you have two little funnel cakes there. So it's just funnel cake and powdered sugar. Yep. Okay, then you can be a little bit of mixologist and we know how Ashley loves to be a mixologist. So I'm so excited to see if she got the sampler. I don't know if she did. So the first one is cream cheese drizzle and look at these cute little things. So it's cream cheese and powdered sugar. Oh, I got to open it this way. I was opening it wrong. Yep. Okay. So it just, it smells like cream cheese. Yep. That's what it smells like. Cream cheese. Okay. Next one. Cinnamon sugar crumble. So cinnamon sugar and butter. Oh, that's a nice cinnamon sugar. Let's see. Yes, 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 yes. I think I prefer this, this fried dough one, but... 
for a straight up cinnamon sugar, that's really, really nice. And then the last one is a strawberry drizzle. Oh, that's a nice strawberry. And you know, I'm not keen on strawberry. Oh, that's a really good strawberry. It's muddled strawberries and sugar. And that's what it tastes like or smells like. Like you sat and crushed up your strawberries, put a little hint of sugar on it and just took a spoon to it. That's how I like it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I cannot wait to get into these samplers or into this wax. So I know that um, getting her wax right now is tough. I get it, things jump out of carts. Trust me, I totally get it. Um, let me just kind of put that all in the back box, but it is worth it. So she knows that she's growing. She knows that um, people are loving her wax. So for me, I'm just saying, please be patient. Um, her wax is worth it. So that's all I have for you. Thank you for hanging out with me. I know I took a little while to get this recorded, but it's so good. It's so, so good. Um, she has a couple things left on her website, but we pretty much bought her out. So um, I'm thinking she's going to be doing a holiday pre-order. Um, that way, you know, people can get what, what they want. Pre, you know, sometimes pre-orders are the best way. So anyway, thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.